Dario G, fantastic track, 1997. Okay, so big discussion this morning was about the Police 101 non-emergency number. And we have the wonderful, the wicked, the awesome Peter Scott in the studio. Good morning to you, Peter. Good morning. Uh, Peter, thanks very much for all the help you make around town. You do a superb job. You really do. Thank you. We think the world of you. You're <laughs> really brilliant. You work very hard. If I've got a problem, I'll just come and see you. It gets sorted straight away. It's brilliant. I do my best. <laughs> right, OK. So, Police 101 number. This is kicked off an old whirlwind of stuff, really, this morning. Uh, policing is very poor, and it seems to be getting worse in Newport. What's your opinion of that? Well, the police have got a very, very difficult job. Uh, the, the problem is, of course, since their budgets were cut a few years ago, there aren't so many bodies around. And so we in Newport, we don't have the necessary proof that there is a need for more police, and so we don't get them. And my argument with everyone at the moment, it appears, is if you use the 101 number, then what's going to happen is the information that's taken from that will be used as evidence of need. And if we're going to get more police and our local guys need this, then we're going to have to have more 101 people ringing in. Yeah, OK. The 101 number's as useful as an handbrake on a canoe, though. That's the problem. That's the situation. It's <laughs> not perfect. I will be the first to admit that. It's not perfect. I mean, I've had some good experiences and some not-so-good experiences. But the main point is, it's all we've got. Yeah. I, I, people are advising others to ring 999. Now, that's the emergency number. We, we shouldn't do that. 101 is where we ring and say we've got an issue. Now, if we feel that 101 is not working for us, we need to let the powers that be know. And I have... On my Facebook page today and through Twitter, I'm encouraging people to contact the new police commissioner, John Campion, and tell him exactly what we think of 101, because only he and the police chief uh, constable can do anything about it. Yep. Okay. so my experience, I've moved to Newport about six, six years ago, only needed to contact the police on two occasions. One was damage to my car, which saw a policeman in the street. He said he'd get back to me. I never heard from him again. Uh, and the other one is I dialed the 101 number because there was a spillage on Mir Park Garden Island. There was loads of uh, sugar beet all over the island. And I thought, well, police need to be aware of this. I dialed 101, 22 and a half minutes. Nobody answered the call, so I gave up. Now, my opinion from then on is why well, I'm not, I won't even bother with that number. That's my first experience. It's now gone to the point where people fighting out, so I don't bother. What's the point? Uh, we've got quite a few other people's points. Bob Holmes says took over 30 minutes. Susan Wally gave up after 20 minutes. Cassie Holmes got the feeling nothing's going to be done anyway when you eventually got through. They're not interested. Tutting and sighing and all the rest. It's a bad service. It's not good, is it? No. I mean, you're giving examples there which are real, and it does not look good. So, if you went into uh, a local cafe and you bought some food and it gave you food poisoning, what would you do? You'd go straight to them and you'd say, this isn't good enough. Yes. This is the same argument with 101. We can moan until we're blue in the face on Facebook, and yeah. we, can, we can complain amongst ourselves, but it's not changing it. Who does the work on 101 it's the police commissioner and the chief constable those two people need to get together and sort this out for us because there is absolute proof that it's not working at the moment yeah i, I get your point on that with food poisoning to be honest i wouldn't even contact it. <laughs> but i just won't go there again and it's the same with the police you get bad service you just don't go there again is that not true well it is true maybe but if you don't go to the police and you've got an antisocial behavior problem in town who are you going to go to? There ain't no Ghostbusters, you know. <laughs> We've got to go to the police. So the important thing, I think, is that we work with them. Our two local guys cover 52 square miles. Wow. And most of that is rural. Yeah. So they can't be everywhere. No. What they need is more bodies. And yeah. the only way to get more bodies is to tell the police commissioner we need them. Now, that's an interesting point because a month ago in the local press, John Campion did say... Towns with growing populations need more police bodies on the ground. Yes. We are a town with a growing population. We know about the houses coming and being built. We're growing. He will be at our town council meeting next Wednesday the 14th, 
seven o'clock at the Guildhall, and people can come along and hear what he's got to say about the future of policing for Newport. And there is an opportunity to actually speak and ask a question throughout uh, uh, that meeting. So I think, you know, we need to go to Mohammed. The mountain needs to go to Mohammed and say to Mohammed, look, we've got a problem. Lots of people say the 101 service is no good. We haven't got enough police. Help us do yeah. something and let him put his money where his mouth is. Okay, so I reiterate that 14th of September, Guildhall, 7 pm. Yep. Get yourself down there, as many bodies as possible. We really need to let West Mercy Police know there is insufficient policing in and around Newport. So, my suggestion, only suggestion, is if you have an incident, don't do nothing, dial 101. If you can't get through 101, log down the service you've had during that through that number, any issues, and feed it back to the chief constable. Uh, and we'll do that, I think, from now on, if we can, and we can probably get one or two more police officers in Newport. Well, yes, and, the and, and the, the, the Crime Commissioner. The link is on my Facebook page a dozen times at the moment. You can easily just Google PCC John Campion and you'll get his contact. He's the guy who's looking at the budgets. He's the one who's going to say, this area needs it, this area doesn't. And at the moment, I'll give you a quick example. I spoke to our local police yesterday, and they came down uh, on Monday morning a couple of weeks ago, and they were told there were seven fights around the town over the weekend. Not one was logged with Newport, with, with sorry, with 101. No. Now, if that's the case, no. then who... Is going to do anything about it? Yeah, I have the incident. I live on my street. Is loads of drunks weekends, big big party town, and it has a knock on effect because they all got to go home mm. and they're fighting, squabbling. Mm. There's noises. They're kicking fences and that. I don't pers- on a personal basis. I don't bother because of the experiences I've had with 101. Yeah. But from now on, I will. Well, I think my message to everyone really is yes. 101 is less than perfect. It's not working for a lot of people out there. So we can change it. We can change it by telling the people who can make the changes that they need to be made. And we won't do it on Facebook, I'm afraid. No. We do it by talking to the right people. So message John Campion. Yeah. That's a key thing. On Facebook, I'll tell you my Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash Nova FM Breakfast. Uh, you can get your say on this matter. I've shared Peter's comment on Facebook. Also on there, that's the main bit, is John Campion, his contact details, how to contact him. Get that. Chuck it somewhere where it's saved. And any issues, dial the 101. If you're having no joy with that, log it down. Let him know because the only way we're going to get anything done is send him loads of requests and what's going on he needs to know what's happening i think that's the best thing isn't it pete? absolutely right we can do no more than try no pete next one street champions what's that all about